On September 7th, we intend to allow entry for fully vaccinated travelers from any country for non-essential traveler. Travelers will have to be fully vaccinated with a Health Canada authorized vaccine at least 14 days prior to entering the country. But ahead of that date, on August 9th, a number of important changes at the border will come into effect to allow fully vaccinated United States citizens and permanent residents who are currently residing in the United States to enter Canada for non-essential purposes. The same requirements will apply. Travelers will have to be fully vaccinated with the Health Canada authorized vaccine at least 14 days before entering the country. Our approach at the border has always been based on the latest science and evidence. This approach will be, the, the, the relaxation of measures will be a gradual process, taking into account the vaccination rate of Canadians and our own epidemiological situation. These changes will also mean adjustments to other measures at the border and on arrival for vaccinated travelers arriving in Canada. All travelers, regardless of vaccination status, will still need a negative pre-departure test. However, starting August 9th, we will shift to a mandatory randomized testing for fully vaccinated travelers. So only those that have been randomly selected will need to complete a day one test. This shift allows us to focus efforts on unvaccinated travelers while still keeping track of new variants. Also, as of August 9th, the three night government authorized hotel stay requirement will be eliminated for all air travelers. <laughs> Travelers will now be able to go directly to their quarantine location to complete their 14-day quarantine. I'll take this opportunity to thank the many hoteliers across the country who stepped up to support Canadians and did such a phenomenal job. Last month, we also told families we would look at the quarantine requirements for children. Today, I can confirm to families traveling with children under 12 that children will be exempt from quarantine but they will still have to follow strict public health measures. This means they can accompany their parent or guardian out of the house to their destination, so long as they avoid group settings like summer camps, school, or childcare for 14 days. The current testing and quarantine requirements will not change for unvaccinated or partially vaccinated travelers. They will still be required to complete their 14-day quarantine as well as day one and day eight tests. 